Hey guys, and welcome to the fourth video in my Python Turtle Graphics uh, series, I guess if you want to call it that. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some cool things that we can do with the mouse and how we can draw shapes kind of using the mouse and using like user input. And it's actually pretty cool. So I'll just show you actually what it looks like first of all, because I already have it coded and I'll just gonna walk you through how we can create this. Pretty much you can kind of just draw whatever you wanna draw. And then if you wanna erase it all, you can right click and it will remove it. Now this combined with some of the stuff I've shown you in previous videos is pretty cool and you guys can kind of play around with that. But anyways, what we're gonna be doing for this is I'm gonna be introducing you to another part of the turtle uh, module, which is the screen. Now I don't think I talked about this in previous videos, but what we're gonna have to start off by doing is importing turtle and we're gonna say from turtle, we're going to import turtle and we're going to import screen like this, okay? Now we're simply just going to create a new screen object, make this equal to screen, and then we're going to create a new turtle object. And in this case, I'm just going to say T is equal to and turtle. And in this case, I can just put turtle like this. Now, this is a different way to create a turtle object. It's just because we've imported it this way rather than just importing it like this. Okay. So now I'm just going to set the speed of our turtle to negative one. Now, what this does is just going to give us the maximum speed for our turtle. Okay, so I have to create two functions here. So one of these functions is going to be for when we click the right mouse button, and the other function is going to be for dragging our turtle around the screen. So the first one I'm going to do is called dragging. Okay, it's going to take two parameters, an X and a Y. All right, and then we're just going to say T, which is our turtle object, dot on drag. Okay, and you can just put none in here. All right, you don't need anything. And then what we're going to be doing to actually change the direction of our turtle is we're going to set the heading of our turtle to be towards and towards the X and Y. And what this X and Y is going to be is it's actually going to be the, uh, what do you call it? Like the mouse object, right? So what this, sorry, I just butchered that explanation, but it's going to be where your mouse is. So whenever we have the turtle and we start dragging it, we want it to be pointing towards our mouse. And that's what this does. It just changes the heading to point towards our mouse. And then we need to actually move the turtle object. So we're changing the heading, but now we have to move it to wherever our mouse position is. So we can say T dot go to, and then X comma Y. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say T dot on drag. And then we're say dragging. Okay. So what this means now is if you continue to drag the turtle object, it's going to continue to call this dragging function and set the heading and keep moving the object. Okay. So the next function we need is called click right. All right. And this is pretty self-explanatory when you click the right mouse button, this is what is going to happen. So in this case, we are just going to simply uh, clear the screen and it's really easy to do that. All you do is just T dot clear. Okay. So now we actually need one more function, but it's not really like a, it is a function, but it's just going to run our main loop. So I'm just going to call this main. Okay. And what I'm going to do in here, I'm say turtle dot listen, just as I did in the last video. And what this is going to do is it's going to listen for any like mouse events and key events so that we can kind of see what to do when that happens. So first of all, we're going to say T dot on drag. Okay. So when we are dragging the turtle object, that's what this method does. Then let us simply call dragging. Okay. And that's going to pass us in an X and Y value. And we'll be able to then do everything that I've talked about in dragging once that happens. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say turtle dot on screen click. I believe like this. Yes. Dot on screen click. And then in here, we're going to do click right and three. So just as I talked about in the previous video, this means our right mouse button. If you wanted it to be the left mouse button, you would put one middle mouse button would be two, but in this case we need three and on screen click just means we click anywhere on the screen, not just on the turtle object. And then we're simply going to do screen dot main loop like this. And what this is going to do is continue looping through this main function until we click the X button on our turtle screen or until like we exit out. So now we just need to call the main function and this is actually it. This is our entire script. So let's see how it works. Okay, so here we go. You can see if I grab this, I can move it around the screen. And if I right click, ah, my right clicking is not working right now. That is strange. I gotta make sure, I gotta see what is happening there. Click right, I don't think I need the brackets for that. Let's see if that changes anything. Oh no, now we're getting an issue. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see what the issue is. Ah, click right. I need to put X and Y in click right here. 
So just make sure you add these two parameters. And let's try this again. There we go. So now it's clearing. Okay. Awesome. So now that you guys know how to do this, you can combine this with maybe changing like the thickness of the pen or the speed of the turtle, or you can make it so if you right click or middle click, then you draw a shape or you do whatever stuff you want to do like that. Okay. So I just wanted to show you this. Uh, I know it hasn't been like a very long video and I didn't do very much, but I just want to show you this so you can kind of combine it with other stuff and you understand how to get the turtle object to follow along with the mouse object. Cause that's typically something you will want to do. So anyways, that has pretty much been it for my turtle series and this tutorial. Now, if you guys are a little bit disappointed that this is all I'm showing in the tutorials, there's not that much to do in turtle. And I would encourage you to move on to Pygame game. If you're worried about like graphics and visuals, because that's a much better module to be doing that with. Uh, I have a lot of tutorial series on my channel where you can check out Pygame. game. I'll leave a link to a series in the description. If you'd want to check that out. And in case you want to learn more about turtle, what you guys can always do is simply just go on the, uh, what do you call it? Go on the internet like this. So I'll go on and just literally type turtle Python and read through the documentation yourself. And it'll tell you all the different things that you can do. So it shows you all the different methods, um, creating a circle degree, like all this stuff. And you guys can read through this and kind of figure out what stuff you want to really do with turtle. Okay. So anyways, that's been it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the series, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hopefully will see you again in another video.